we'll need to have a seat quickly for this because we're going to massage kidney one unless you want to massage kidney one while you're standing, which is an option as well. Opening up kidney one, uh, you can also pinch kidney one with liver three just to really get the chi to flow between the big toe and the second toe, get those nice yin channels to open up and allow your foot to feel really grounded and connected. But when we do the standing, there's a better flow that supports you from the earth so that you feel this sensation of sitting in the chi. This is one of the quality that we're looking for with this practice uh, is to reach, or I should say with enough practice, you reach a point where once the chi become uh, even a little bit stronger than that, rather than allowing it to push us up and follow the movement, you can actually sit into it and really feel like that rising sensation support your body so you can um, rest upon it and feel that you're basically becoming buoyant um, from the legs and, and the rest of the body as well. So it's a really good point to be at, to feel that sensation that while the chi wants us to, wants to rise strongly and kind of brings us with it, <clears throat> if we can just sit into it, then all of a sudden we have that lightness um, that starts to feel through the whole body. And there's no tension or tiredness that show up within the legs, or at least it shows up a lot later. Opening up both sides, you can always take a second to observe the difference between both feet. Opening up if you want to do the exercise standing, we'll do the same thing, opening up Lao Gong as well. As you're massaging Lao Gong, creating the vacuum to pull the chi into the palm, notice if you can feel a connection all the way down to your feet. That by massaging Lao Gong, pulling the chi into the palm, you're actually connecting it directly from your feet, pulling it up through the yin channel into the yin channel of the arms. I'm doing the same thing on the other palm. Placing both palms facing each other, allowing the chi to gather between the hands, feeling the connection from the palms, the expansion of the ball into the Lord Antian, all the way towards the back, turning the palm to face the feet, facing the ground, feeling the connection between Lao Gong and Yang Chuan connection with the feet as if when your hands are pulling up you're pulling the chi from the feet into the legs almost like um, if you pull the back of a syringe you're absorbing fluid into it the same way that we pull our hands up we're absorbing the chi into our legs a little more intensely pressing allowing the chi to return deep into the earth. Observing the rising, the thickness of the chi all around your legs, up to your waist or above. Pressing the thickness of it as you're pushing down, exhaling. So taking your time, and once you have a good sense of that thickness around you, 
on your next exhale, you're going to sit in the chi, keeping our forearms parallel, going into the Shaolin posture. Finding that sweet spot where you feel the chi supporting your body all around and inside as if you're floating in a hot tub. Finding the right angle in your knees and legs so that the tai yang is supporting you. You want to find that sensation that you're really sitting on the air as if there's something solid in the back of your legs, around your sit bone, and the front of your thighs are actually really relaxed, loose. There's no tension on the Yang Ming. The supportive sensation comes through the Tai Yang, almost like a... At some point, it will get almost like gushing water rising through the back of your legs, really almost pushing you upwards. Um, at first, you have more of a sensation to sit onto something solid. If we scan from our feet, our big toe should be planted firmly onto the ground while the other toes are free to flutter above without issues. There's no pressure on the other toe, they're just a big toe that's resting firmly. As we move our awareness towards the plantar part of the foot, the bubble or the padding after the big toe is nicely rooted as well. The padding around the other toe is firmly connected with the ground. There's a particular spot around um, just below gallbladder 41, 42 that connects the organ with the ground that ground the daimai as well, helping that descending quality of the young. <clears throat> Same way we have a nice connection of our heel with the ground, but the weight is spread. It's not just through the heel. And that bubbling sensation under kidney one that presses the arch of the foot upward, that opens up the yin channel, allowing the chi to flow on the inside of the leg up to the qua, the scarpa triangle, through the back of the leg all the way to the sit bone, bladder 36, feeling like it's resting onto something that support through the back of the leg, which allow your lower abdomen to fill up, open the sacroiliac, allowing the sacrum and the coccyx to be free to move gently with the breath, opening migmen a little more as you inhale which create a stronger pressure through your legs, pressing against the ground, and an upward wave through the spine, lifting your head upward towards the sky. The stronger the Tai Yang channel is activated through your legs, the more you'll feel it on your pinky as well. Placing your elbow, placing your shoulder blades, feeling an expansion through the shoulder outward, left and right, without any effort being felt on the Yang Ming through the deltoid, but your arms are naturally floating and heavy at the same time. Your back should feel very strong and active, while the front of your body should feel relaxed, the yin while the back is young, filling up more and more. And of course, with a big smile, everything is just a lot easier. If you notice that you've been slightly going upward, you can readjust your sitting position so that you rest onto the chi and you let the chi support you, not start to float too much while keeping a strong rootedness through your feet into the ground. Your next inhale, allowing your hands to go up. Open, exhale, movement 18, pushing the palm to calm the chi. Inhale, up. Exhale.
And on your next exhale, keeping the legs elongated, pressing the chi down to the feet into the ground. Rubbing the palms together, gently rubbing the kidney, tapping the legs, the quads. Shoulders, if you need to, arms. Good. 